to me this is not merely a video. It is extremely frightening to come to the realization that the spirit of an individual who previously resided in this location is attempting to establish communication with you. Did you happen to be named Artem Leonidovich? I must go now. Does he desire to communicate a message to me, or does he not have any intention to do so? Or is it a demon that desires to take possession of my soul? In my opinion, I would describe it as a mystical detective story. It had an eerie and unsettling atmosphere with moments of genuine fear. The plot was shrouded in mystery, keeping me intrigued throughout. Overall, it was a captivating and spine-chilling experience that left me wanting more. However, I was able to solve the mystery, the mystery of this apartment. Hello friends, in the past video I was invited to the apartment where the owner of the apartment disappeared under strange circumstances and now strange and creepy things often happen in this apartment according to the neighbors. They hear different knocks emanating from this apartment, particularly often at night. This intercom rings with a persistent and unsettling sound. On the first night I discovered that a spirit actually enters the apartment. It is the spirit of the apartment's missing owner. There is an object or entity currently situated within the confines of the apartment. Do you want to talk to me? The spirit attempted to reach out to me on multiple occasions and emphasized that it has the ability to communicate with me by means of an Ouija board. In my opinion, it is not just like that. It is possible that its intention is to indicate that it has the ability to communicate with me by utilizing a Ouija board as a means of conversation. Today I will attempt to enhance my connection with him and find out what he wanted to convey to me. So, pals, upon waking all my spare time, I attempted to decode the received intercom records. I was able to discover something. A picture like this is starting to emerge. I comprehended that the spirit of the elderly man who previously resided here now comes to this place. Everyone believes he vanished. However, in reality he was murdered. Since the ultimate phrase that reached my ears through the intercom was you are responsible for my demise and the end of my life. However, it is not entirely clear why the spirit is saying this addressing me personally there are suspicions that he confuses me with someone else. With someone else who could potentially come to this apartment. I am uncertain about this matter, but I have such suspicions that I cannot dismiss. This is someone who knew this grandfather. Today I will have a session with a Ouija board and try to figure it out once and for all. Friends, the spirit tried to leave with me. When making contact using an Ouija board, however, he was not proficient in it. Perhaps he lacked vitality. Today my intention is to immediately place my hands in this location. And in the event that I sense that the pointer is in motion, offer help to him in moving in the direction that he is currently moving towards. Perhaps this way I'll be able to communicate with the spirit. The spiritual being that currently resides in this house is believed to possess supernatural powers and is the subject of much curiosity and speculation. If you can hear me, would you kindly attempt to move this pointer? It would be highly appreciated if you could provide feedback on your ability to hear and the responsiveness of the pointer. Your assistance in this matter is invaluable. Thank you for your cooperation in advance. 
And I will try to help you with this. Опасно, что здесь есть только я. Up until now, I have been the only person moving the pointer without any involvement or assistance from others in this particular task. It is an incredibly arduous task to keep your hands raised for a prolonged duration of time, as it requires immense strength and endurance to sustain such a position without any rest or support. And oh no, I completely forgot to turn on the device. Now I will just wait, but if it appears... Upon receiving the signal, I will promptly place my hands on the Ouija board without any delay or hesitation, ready to establish a connection with the spiritual realm and commence the process of divination, seeking guidance and insights from beyond. As a result, an activity materialized and became perceptible to those present at the scene. The signal gradually increases. This is until I start to feel subtle movements in response. Spirit, you have the ability to do so in this house. Can we communicate using this board? I want to chat with you on this platform. Let me know if we can talk and exchange information here. As if there was some sort of movement or activity happening nearby, creating a sense of anticipation. Yes, 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 she is relocating. The answer is a resounding yes, without any doubt or ambiguity. Can I confirm if your name was Artem Leonidovich? Thank you for your understanding. There was a slight movement. I could feel it happening around me. This is the response, yes. Have you ever engaged in the practice of occultism or magic? The pointer is making its way back to the starting point. The answer is yes. What was the specific motivation or driving factor that led you to engage in the practice of magic? The response provided by the wife. Did you have the desire to talk to your wife? But who has passed away and is no longer with us in this world? The answer is indeed yes. Friends, the situation is as follows. I think I started to understand what happened in this apartment. I was aware that this grandfather used to reside not by himself and he had a spouse. The elderly gentleman, in my opinion, was unable to accept this and started delving into occultism in an attempt to communicate with his wife. In my opinion, that is the reason why they found a considerable amount of occult books in his dwelling place. 
I think this is probably so. It still remains to be discovered what actually transpired and unfolded regarding his situation. You communicated via the intercommunication system that you were no longer alive, indicating that you had been fatally harmed or terminated in some way. Who was the perpetrator that caused your demise? Yeah. There is no doubt that something is definitely wrong. It is evident that there is an issue that needs to be addressed. Artem Leonidovich, is that really you? I perceived an audible manifestation originating from the Ouija board. Is that really you? I perceived an audible manifestation originating from the Ouija board. It responded with a yes. It conveyed that it was referring to that elderly gentleman. But on the Ouija board there is another spirit. The true spirit said no not too many times. He warned me repeatedly. I believe the identical thing occurred to the elderly gentleman. He attempted to reach out to the spirit of his spouse. But ultimately it was the devil who approached him. I have read that even the Bible itself makes mention of such things. What is it that you would like to communicate to me? He made a statement expressing his feelings of remorse in that location, emphasizing that he is experiencing a sense of negativity and regret about being there. In what manner can I be of service to you? Is there anything specific you need assistance with? Please let me know how I can help you.
friends, something is definitely wrong. While I was conversing on the phone, I perceived a sound emanating from the Ouija board. I have a feeling that I am overlooking something significant. It seems like there is a crucial element that I am not comprehending or fully grasping. You need to review the video to see where the pointer on the Ouija board was moving. In what manner is this phenomenon possible? The telephone is currently not connected to the receiver and is not able to receive or make calls at the moment. However, despite the circumstances, he still persists in making phone calls. On the phone, it wasn't Artem who answered me. Furthermore, apart from the aforementioned person, there is an additional individual present, thus making the total number of people in attendance two. Artem Leonidovich. I am eager to obtain accurate information regarding the person responsible for ending your life. He's calling again. Who are you? Day. Demons? Yes, that is indeed correct. Is there anything I can help you with at the moment? Shh. The response provided is negative. <laughs> I am curious to know who you are. What is it that you require?
It appears to me that all of this is extremely, extremely unfavorable. This will not lead to anything good. I don't care anymore. I absolutely refuse to say anything. In my opinion, I believe that it is imperative for us to efficiently and expeditiously pack all of our possessions here without any delay. Here without any delay. Damn it. Do you know what else is the most interesting thing? I found out about it after the shooting incident. The woman who provided the keys to the apartment mentioned that the intercom is not working at all and is completely non-functional. He has been disconnected from the service because he did not make payment. inquire about your identity and ascertain who you are at this particular moment in time. Darn, the thermal image's battery ran out. To hell with all of this, my dear friends. I will make sure to pick up the very best things tomorrow morning without fail or delay. That is the conclusion. I am going to disconnect now and terminate the connection between us. It was a story that had a creepy and sad vibe, leaving a lasting impression on the reader. The elderly man wished to contact, talk to his wife. Instead, demons appeared to him, not his wife, which probably drove him to the point of madness and they compelled me to do something negative to myself. Now his spirit wanders around this apartment. However, there is also positive news. After the spirit told me that in his presence, the neighbor was no longer able to hear the sound of the intercom system. She also did not hear any more blows. The wall seen from this apartment. Perhaps we managed to change something. At least I hope so. And yes, friends, those who want to see my videos earlier, those who want to see videos from my personal life, some moments, and those who want to support my channel, you are welcome to join my Patreon. Thank you for your support. On the boost, my videos come out much earlier. I also started publishing videos unrelated to mysticism. That is, some moments from my personal life. And I spend a lot more time on boost than on any other social network. I make an effort to respond to all messages from my subscribers. What I have is going well, successful. So come, so to speak, to our exclusive club. Welcome to Boosty. Join us now. All for now. See you later.
Yes, it will do.